Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at some important settings you should be aware of if you're going to upload videos to YouTube, especially if you're going to upload videos to YouTube to use in your classroom. You want to be aware of these settings. So I'm already signed into my YouTube account, and I'm in the upload screen. I'm going to go ahead and upload a video. You can click and select from your desktop that way, or you can also simply drag and drop into the uploader. And while your video is uploading, we can go ahead and use any of the settings that we want to adjust for our videos. Uh, by default, YouTube's going to make your videos public. You can also make your video unlisted or private. Now, unlisted does not make your video private. It just makes it harder to find. The only way that you can view the video is if you have the direct link to it. Private is going to require you to add specific people to allow them to view. I'm going to make this video public. I'm going to add this video to a playlist. Now I already have some playlists created and I can just select one here or I can create a new one altogether. So let's add that to my EdTech Tips. And now let's go into our advanced settings. Advanced setting is where you can turn off comments or you can enable comment moderation. I find that 95% of all comments on YouTube are not helpful, so I've just turned them off altogether. You can turn on ratings or turn off ratings for your video as well. You can select if you want to use a standard license or a Creative Commons license for your video. Put your video in a category. And down here at the bottom you can allow embedding of your video or disallow embedding of your video. Let's go ahead and go back to our basic info now. And we can select publish on the video, but if we publish it right now, well, we'll now have our link to view the video itself. I'm going to go back to return to editing. And there's one more thing that I like to do, and that is add my own custom thumbnail. YouTube is going to give you a choice of three default thumbnails that are pulled right from your video. But let's say you want to have a custom thumbnail, like I've been doing lately, of putting my logo on the front. Now this might be useful if you're in a school setting and you want to brand all of your videos with your school district logo or your classroom logo or some other design. You can now apply that, save the changes, and you'll see that rather than just showing a random screenshot, you'll actually see your logo displayed when your video is, is static. So those are some basic tips for uploading your videos to YouTube and some basic privacy settings. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.